In the realm of the gas giants, there exists a mysterious world veiled in dense layers of haze. Titan, the largest moon of ringed giant Saturn. Titan has fascinated scientists for decades. Concealed beneath its thick clouds, it is home to vast seas, lakes, and rivers that flow over parts of its frozen surface. Remarkably, this moon stands as the only location in our solar system, aside from Earth, where liquids course across the landscape. This remarkable coincidence gives rise to an interesting question. Could Titan's seas and lakes potentially harbor life, much like our own planet? If so, what might this alien life look like, lurking beneath the shroud of Titan's unique environment? Despite observations by four separate spacecraft over the decades, the mystery surrounding the moon has only deepened, giving rise to new questions. What is the origin of its thick atmosphere? How did the moon's lakes and seas form? What is the possibility that Titan hosts life? Let's find out. The suspicion of large liquid bodies on Titan dates back to the early 1980s when the Voyager probes passed by, but it wasn't until the visit of the Cassini spacecraft in 2006 that these suspicions were confirmed. Unlike Earth's oceans composed of water, Cassini revealed that Titan's lakes and seas are made up of an unusual combination, liquid methane and ethane. The lakes and seas on Titan are predominantly found in the polar regions and can be quite substantial, with some of the largest comparable to North America's Great Lakes. Fueled by rivers cutting through Titan's frozen terrain, these bodies of liquid exhibit remarkable depth, with certain areas estimated to plunge over 656 feet deep. While their exact origin remains a mystery, Scientists theorize that Titan's seas and lakes likely formed through the breakdown of methane and nitrogen in its atmosphere. This process involves the condensation of these compounds into clouds, eventually returning to the moon's surface as rain or possibly snow. Notably, on Earth, it is the cycle of life itself that primarily replenishes the methane supply in our atmosphere. Methane, a byproduct of the metabolism of various organisms on Earth, originates from simple biological sources like peat bogs, rice fields, and animals such as cows or sheep. Considering this, the presence of methane on Titan raises an intriguing question. Could it be a sign of life? However, if life exists on Titan, it would likely be vastly different from anything we know on Earth. But why is that? Well, the absence of liquid water on its surface, coupled with extremely cold temperatures of around negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, makes conditions on this moon harsh and exceptionally challenging for life forms, as we understand them. Despite these harsh conditions, the possibility of life on this moon isn't ruled out. Some microorganisms on Earth have demonstrated the ability to consume and survive in hydrocarbons, and the lakes on Titan primarily consist of liquid methane and ethane, both hydrocarbons. The prospect of life in Titan's lakes raises the intriguing possibility of organisms adapting to an environment drastically different from Earth's. Scientists hypothesize that potential life might be built on an entirely distinct biochemistry. Unlike life on Earth, which relies on water as a solvent, these hypothetical Titan life forms could utilize hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. However, such an adaptation would require a unique cell structure for survival. If we were to introduce an Earth organism into one of Titan's lakes, it wouldn't endure for long. Earthly organisms, even the most robust single-cell entities, are held together by membranes composed of fatty molecules known as lipids. These lipids form a barrier because specific portions attract water molecules, while others repel them. Titan's lakes lack water for interactions, and the extreme cold would freeze Earth's life solid. But is there some way life on the moon can survive? One answer could be acrylon trial, a molecule that might serve a similar function and endure the moon's harsh conditions. Remarkably, Scientists have discovered direct evidence of acrylonitrile molecules on Titan, 
present in quantities theoretically sufficient to support millions of single-celled life forms. This raises the exciting possibility of microorganisms forming the foundation of a complex ecosystem on this unique moon, potentially with larger organisms in the mix. Yet, as thrilling as these concepts are, our current knowledge is insufficient to definitively ascertain what kind of life, if any, could exist on Titan. The Huygens probe, the sole spacecraft to land on the moon's surface in 2005, provided valuable insights by entering its atmosphere and becoming the first probe to land on a moon in the outer solar system. But did the probe find any signs of life? The Huygens probe provided mesmerizing images as it descended and landed on Titan, transmitting data for about 90 minutes post-landing. This particular surface image reveals what appears to be a dried up, relatively flat area covered in pebbles, suggesting it might have once been submerged in flowing liquid methane. However, no signs of life are evident. While the notion of unusual life forms thriving on Titan is captivating, the methane in its atmosphere likely results from outgassing. When Titan initially formed, it was too hot for volatile compounds like methane and nitrogen to stay on the surface. Instead, these compounds were trapped within the moon's interior. Over time, Titan's internal heat dissipated, causing volatile compounds to escape through cracks in its crust. These escaped compounds then combined to create the intricate mixture of gases that constitute the moon's thick atmosphere today. While the abundance of methane in Titan's atmosphere is likely a result of geological processes rather than the presence of life, the question of whether this peculiar moon is sterile remains open. Most of the solar system, to our knowledge, seems inhospitable to life. However, recent observations and measurements by the Cassini spacecraft and the Huygens probe suggest the intriguing possibility of a subsurface ocean of liquid water hidden beneath Titan's icy crust. Water, a crucial ingredient for life as we understand it, might provide a habitat for organisms adapted to Titan's unique environmental conditions. However, similar to the methane lakes above, the conditions in this subsurface ocean would differ significantly from those on Earth. The ocean would be extremely cold, and the presence of a high concentration of salts and other dissolved substances could impact the ability of any potential life forms to survive. As things stand, Titan holds the potential to host environments with conditions suitable for life, both as we currently understand it and in forms that may be entirely unfamiliar. Although there is currently no evidence of life on the moon, its intricate chemistry and distinctive landscapes make it a compelling target for ongoing exploration. One of the most eagerly anticipated upcoming missions is NASA's Dragonfly, set to launch in 2027 and arrive at Titan in 2034. This innovative mission involves a rotorcraft lander, akin to the successful Ingenuity craft that has completed over 50 flights on Mars. Dragonfly will soar to various locations on Titan's surface, including dunes, craters, and the equatorial region. The mission aims to investigate potential liquid water sources and assess the chemical conditions that could potentially support life. As our exploration of the outer reaches of the solar system advances, Titan stands out as a captivating destination with the potential to reshape our comprehension of the universe. From its methane lakes and seas to the concealed subsurface ocean, this mysterious moon presents a world that defies comparison with any other celestial body. The prospect of discovering life on Titan, this distant and hazy moon, remains an open question that captivates our imagination. As our exploration of space advances, only time will unveil the secrets hidden within its unique landscapes. So, spacers, what do we think? Could Titan be a bastion for life it seems to be? Or is it just another barren, empty planet? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to watch the next video suggested just for you. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.